My name is Christina, and I'm the Children's Program Coordinator with the Lillooet Public Library. Welcome to our second virtual story time. Again, this program will be about 10 to 15 minutes and is aimed towards parents and their young children. Today, we're going to read a couple stories and sing some songs together, all about springtime. I've noticed the birds are starting to return, green plants are sprouting, the weather is getting warmer and the days are longer. It's definitely springtime here in Lillooet. But before we get started, I'd like to sing my Hello, Hello song. If you listened to our last video, you may have already heard this song. It's time to practice it again. It goes like this. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you stretch up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? Can you reach up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello. Thanks again for joining us this week. Now, the first book that I'm going to share with you today is called When Spring Comes. And it's written by Kevin Hanks and illustrated by Laura Dronzek. Hope you enjoy. When Spring Comes. This book is written by Will and Clara. Before spring comes, the trees look like black sticks against the sky. But if you wait, spring will bring leaves and blossoms. If you wait, spring will make the leftover mounds of snow smaller and smaller and smaller until suddenly they're gone. Before spring comes, the grass is brown. But if you wait, spring will turn it green and add little blue flowers. If you wait, an egg will become a bird. A seed will start growing. Spring comes with sun, and it comes with rain, and more rain, and more rain. Do you like mud? Do you like puddles? I hope you like umbrellas. Before spring comes, the garden is just dirt and empty. But if you wait, spring will push green shoots through the dirt to fill up the garden. And spring will call out the pussy willows and new kittens too. Spring can come quickly or slow it changes its mind a lot. But when spring is finally here to stay, you will know it. There will be buds and bees and boots and bubbles. There will be worms and wings and wind and wheels. You will feel it. You will smell it. You will hear it. When spring is finally here to stay, you might think you are done waiting, but you are not. Now you have to wait for summer. And that's When Spring Comes by Ken Hanks and Laura Drosnick. I hope you enjoyed that story. Now we're going to sing a song called Spring is Here, and this was written by a group called The Learning Station. You'll see the lyrics on the bottom of your screen, so feel free to join in. Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think I know? I just saw a bluebird, that is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think we know? We just saw a bluebird, that is how we know. Do the bird walk? 
Stretch your thing, do the bird walk. Flap your wings, do the bird walk. Do anything and look around for another sign of spring. Spring is here, spring is here. How do you think I know? I just saw a bee, that is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here. How do you think we know? We just saw a bee, that is how we know. Do the bee walk. Stretch your thing, do the bee walk. Flap your wings, do the bee walk. Do anything and look around for another sign of spring. Spring is here, spring is here. How do you think we know? We just saw a butterfly, that is how we know. Spring is here, spring is here. How do you think we know? We just saw a butterfly, that is how we know. Do the butterfly walk. Stretch your thing, do the butterfly walk. Do a clap your wings, do the butterfly walk. Do anything and look around for another sign of spring. Spring is here, spring is here. How do you think I know? I just saw a frog, that is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here. How do you think we know? We just saw a frog, that is how we know. Do the frog jump. Stretch your thing, do the frog jump. Bada bing, do the frog jump. Do anything and look around for another sign of spring. So that song is called Spring is Here by the Learning Station. Another animal that we see in springtime is the grizzly bear or the black bear. As they're waking up from their winter slumber and looking around for food to eat. So the next book that we're going to read is called Bear Wants More by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. When springtime comes, in his warm winter den, a bear wakes up, very hungry and thin. He waddles outside and roots all around. He digs and he paws, fresh shoots from the ground. He nibbles on his lawn till the last blade is gone, but the bear wants more. Mouse scampers by with his acorn pail, Come along, Mouse squeaks, to Strawberry Vale. So up Mouse hops on Big Bear's back. They tromp through the woods for a fresh fruit snack. The berries grow sweet and they eat, eat, eat. But the bear wants more. The noon sun glows when along hops hair. Good day, friend mouse. How do, friend bear? I'm hungry, roars bear. Air says, follow me. There's a fresh clover patch by the cottonwood tree. They nibble on their lunch with a crunch, crunch, crunch. But the bear wants more. Badger shuffles by with his new fishing pole. There's a fine fish feast at the old fishing hole. They head to the pond and they sit by the shore. Bear catches fish, but he still wants more. Meanwhile, back at the big bear's den, wait gopher and mole with raven and wren. They bake honey cakes, they decorate the lair. It's a springtime party for their good friend, Bear. Bear rubs at his tummy, he smells something yummy, and he still wants more. Bear sniffs and he shuff snuffles as a sweet breeze blows. He romps to his home, he follows his nose. His friends yell surprise when he gets to his den the bear is so big that he can't fit in. Bear wails, what luck, I am stuck, stuck, stuck in my own front door.
Mouse squeaks. Poor bear, he is wedged too tight. Hare tugs. Raven pushes with all of their might. Badger gets a stick, so he and he pries so hard that bear pops out and he lands in his yard. Since bear is so wide, they party outside, and still he wants more. Bear opens presents, he gobbles honey cakes, he eats so much that his big tummy aches. He snuggles in the grass and he snores, big snores. He is full, 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 but his friends want more. And that's Bear Wants More by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. Before you go, I'd like to sing one more song together about the season of new growth. This song is to the tune of Farmer in the Dell. You'll catch on pretty quick. It goes like this. The sun is shining bright. The sun is shining bright. Oh, how I love the warmth. The sun is shining bright. The rain is falling down. The rain is falling down. Oh, how I love the sound. The rain is falling down. The flowers start to bloom. The flowers start to bloom. Oh, how I love the sight. The flowers start to bloom. Bears are waking up, the bears are waking up. Oh, how I love to hear the bears are waking up. The salmon eggs have hatched, the salmon eggs have hatched. Oh, how I love to know the salmon eggs have hatched. It's now time to say goodbye. Thanks for listening to Virtual Storytime with Christina at the Lillooet Public Library. Can you wave goodbye? Goodbye, till next time.